Good day everyone! Again, I am Mildred Bayangos and for today's video, I will be discussing the history, equipment, basic rules, and basic skills of volleyball. So now, let's proceed in history. Volleyball was invented in 1895 by William G. Morgan, a physical director of Young Men's Christian Association or YMCA in Holyoke, Massachusetts. It was designed as an indoor sport for business who found the new game of basketball to be gurus. Let's proceed in equipment of volleyball. So first is the solid ball or the volleyball ball used to play indoor volleyball, beach volleyball, or other less common variations of the sport. Volleyballs are round and traditionally consist of 18 nearly rectangular panels of synthetic or genuine leather arranged in six identical sections of three panels each wrapped around a bladder. The next one is knee pads. The purpose of knee pads is to protect meniscus and the patella, or kneecap. While playing volleyball, knee pads also guard the knee against crap and burns, which could happen during volleyball trainings or matches. So next is ankle braces. For volleyball players who don't like wearing braces or fit their too uncomfortable. The Activity Ankle 329 Sleeves is a low-profile ankle support. Active ankle braces prevent injuries to our athletes while making them feel secure that they can go hard in training. We also have here a proper footwear. A valuable shoe needs to be able to move with your foot, but your foot should not be able to move inside the shoes. The volleyball shoe should fit snugly but not tight and there should be a finger width or less between your toes and the tip of the shoe. Next one is the volleyball duffel bags or the volleyball team bags. Team bags are important for transporting volleyball and uniform. While you would wear your warm-ups and comfortable shoes while traveling, these team bags are great for carrying your volleyballs and uniform. And last, the volleyball serving machine or the attack volleyball machine will deliver thousands of reps in daily practice of jump serve receiving, digging, and spicing. The machine provides a full range of spins, throwing both sharp top spin and breaking floaters to simulate match situations. We are done with the history and equipment of volleyball. So now, let me introduce to you the fundamental must-know rules of a volleyball game. Number one, only six players on the floor at any given time. Three in front row and three in the back row. Number two, there is a maximum of three hits per side. Number three, points are made on every serve for the winning team of rally or rally point scoring number four players may not hit the ball twice in succession or a block is not considered a hit number five ball may be played off the net during a volley on a serve six a ball hitting a boundary line is in seven it is legal to contact the ball with any part of a player's body 8. It is illegal to catch, hold, or throw the ball. 9. A player cannot block or attack a serve from on or inside the 10 feet line or 10 foot line. 10. After the serve, frontline players may switch positions at the net. 11. Matches are made up of sets. The number depends on level of play. 12. Three set matches are two sets to 25 points and third set is 15 points. Each set must be won by two points. The winner is the first team to win two sets. And last, five set matches or five set matches are four sets to 25 points and the fifth set to 15 points the team must win by two points unless tournament rules dictate otherwise the first team to win three sets is the winner
So, let me introduce to you the former volleyball captain of STI Dagupan, Ms. Gia Fernandez Kim. She and her friend shows the basic skills in volleyball for us to know the proper doings of these skills. Serving. Dig passing. Tossing or setting. Spiking. Blockings. Those are the basic skills in volleyball. Before this educational vlog ends, I will show you some clips that shows or how to play a volleyball game. So let's watch this. So guys, that's all for today's vlog. Thank you for watching and keep safe. Bye!